Alright you guys, let's go. Hey guys, so it's about nine o'clock. I look you've been in the house all day. I uploaded a video today. <laughs> go check it out. I, what was the title again? It's me washing the car. So cool video. Go check that out. Pause this right here. Go check it out and then come back. Or you can finish watching this one and then go watch that. Just binge watch me tonight. <laughs> but yeah, you guys. So I've been in the house all day and um. I ain't got no food in the house. So, I'm about to run to Walmart real quick and grab something to cook. Don't mind my little braid, y'all. I want my hair to be curly for church tomorrow because it is Saturday. So, y'all might see it just... It's been like this all day. <laughs> I greased it last night. And I put it in this braid so that it can be curly for church. So, if y'all see it like just doing this thing right here. Well, let me tuck it in, y'all. Because I ain't going to Walmart. But don't be talking about my braid. I don't know if y'all remember, but when I first started... um my youtube i had told y'all how much weight i lost i lost like 17 pounds um i ain't got on a scale recently but i feel like i done gained all that back and in addition to that i just feel like i feel like i'm playing too much yeah i don't my family medical history isn't the best so i feel like i really just need to like stop playing and um start taking my health seriously so i want to go back to um you know, cooking more meals and less snacks, which is so hard for me, y'all, because I'm a snacker. I love, 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 love snacks. I love candy. I love cookies, cakes, donuts. I just, listen, <laughs> I just like it all. But um, I want to slow down. I want to slow down and have it in moderation. So um, I ain't really cooked in a while. Um, I think I want to do, I saw this recipe for like a chipotle chicken copycat. Um, when I go there, I only, <laughs> only been there like three times, y'all, to be honest. The first time I went, I wasn't pleased. And then the second time, Don convinced me to go. And I, it was real simple. I just got the rice, the chicken, and some veggies. And it was bomb. So, I watched a video of somebody doing it at home. The chicken, because, I mean, I can make rice. But the chicken, I really like the chicken. So, I watched somebody do it at home. So, I'm about to go to Walmart and see if I can find those ingredients so that I can cook it. I'm about to head out, but first, I'm going to go check to see what we have here. That's the real trick, y'all, to see what you got before you go grocery shopping. So, I'm going to do that, and then we're going to head out. So, I'll see y'all at Walmart. I'm going to get these. Yeah, I really like coming to Walmart at night, like right before it closes, because... It don't be a lot of people in there <laughs> or in here. <laughs> but um, I don't really need much, y'all. And I'm trying to get a little bit because it is my first time doing it. And then if I like it, I'll come back and get like more ingredients. But I'm trying to just get a little bit. So, so far we got the peppers, the rice, and the chicken. We need a few more things. And then we're going to get up out of here. This one. down the cereal. I was craving cereal all day today. So I just had to come and get some. So I think I want either crunch berries or honey nut Cheerios. You guys, I think we're going to get honey nut Cheerios just because it's going to be healthier than the crunch berries. Um, so yep, we're going to get this. This is cereal we used to get a lot when I was a kid. And And this one. <laughs> so y'all, I decided to have some cereal before I go to bed. I'm not cooking tonight, y'all. It's like 10:40. Is that what that says? I think that's what it says. It's 10 o'clock, y'all, and it's real late. So I'm not cooking tonight. I'm not even sure if I'm cooking tomorrow, to be honest. I might just prep tomorrow and then cook Monday. It just really depends on how busy I am tomorrow. But I'm gonna have some cereal and I, I wanted to ask y'all, do you guys like um, when y'all cereal gets soggy? Some of y'all may be like, why are you asking that? So I thought everybody was like me. I don't like my cereal soggy at all. Listen, if it's soggy, I don't even want no more. Um, I really like it crunchy, but I know some people who will like literally let their cereal sit because they want the cereal to be soggy. And I 
mean, whatever floats your boat, but that ain't floating my boat, child. I think that is so disgusting. <laughs> so, to keep my cereal from getting soggy, I I probably started doing this probably a few months ago. I don't even um, pour all of my cereal into the bowl. I pour my milk, and then I pour cereal little by little and eat it like that so that it can stay crunchy. So... <laughs> Whenever I'm eating my cereal, you though you can guarantee the box is right next to me. <laughs> I'm about to eat and I will see you guys when um I cook. It's Monday. It's finally time to cook. Have I been dreading it? Absolutely. <laughs> Even though it should be fairly quick. Um, but I'm just not a big fan of cooking. But I like to eat. So I guess I need to get, become a fan of cooking, right? Yeah, she got a new toy. Hold on, let me show y'all. Mama, you want to show them your new toy? You want to show them your new toy? This is one of them. Wait, first let me show y'all her. Say hi, G mama, baby. Hi, G mama, boo boo. And my mama, mama, boo boo. You want to show them your new toy? So, her auntie came from Orlando the other day and got her this toy. Let me just show them. <laughs> my goodness. I had to ask her permission. Wait, mama, I'm just showing them. So, she got this. Look at her. <laughs> well, she got this one. She also has this one, which is my favorite because black is my favorite color. And then she got a purple one around here, but she got no toy, so baby's happy. Um, but yeah, yeah. Let's go cook. Let's go make this food. This is a quick disclaimer. Um, I'm not gonna be like I'm not gonna be too surprised if it doesn't taste like I'm not gonna say it tastes if it don't taste good, but like she has some things on the ingredients that I kind of substituted. Like for an example, she had something she had rice rice oil i definitely use i think that's either vegetable oil or canola oil i don't know if that's going to make a difference she also added pepper in hers i didn't do pepper in mine and it was some other thing that she put that i ain't put so hopefully <laughs> hopefully it's still good so let's um cook i'm gonna montage it up because i can't multitask and y'all know i'm not a um I'm not no chef in the kitchen just yet, <laughs> but um, I'm just montage it up and then I'm going to talk to y'all at the end. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Let's go. Look, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. So, when it comes to like pan frying chicken breast, I always cut it to make sure it's cut, you know, cause ain't that how you get salmonella? Ain't got time for that. So I cut it and it looked good. So I tasted it. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I tasted it. And it tastes good, but there's something about it. There's a flavor in there that I do not like. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. We are gonna wait for the rice to be done and you know, for the chicken to, you know, maybe when we put it all together, blah, blah, bing, you know, maybe it's going to taste good. But right now, it's it's okay. But there's a taste. Something in it tastes really weird. And uh, I'm not sure what it is. But, um, yeah. Mm, I don't know. Stay tuned. All right, you guys. So, here's the meat. Okay, so for this one, 
I was playing around too much. I was shy. I forgot I was cooking. And homeboy a little burnt, but now here you go, child. They look good, but all right, you guys. So my rice is done. Um, I'm about to plate the food, and then we're gonna try everything together. <laughs> you gonna see how this gonna go, y'all. All right, you guys. So here it is with the rice. I have broccoli and stuff, but child, I ain't really too excited about eating it. So I'm gonna save my broccoli. But here it is plated, and we're gonna try it. All right, you guys. Let's go. Take a little bit. It's so weird because it's like it's good, but then there's something weird about it. Like something tastes weird. Like there's a weird aftertaste. It's not bad. I don't know. I just don't know. Would I do it again? No. So I guess that means it's bad, right? I don't know. It's not terrible though. Now I can eat it. I'm gonna finish it. <laughs> Y'all in the past? When I first started out cooking, whatever didn't come out good, I threw that thing away. I wasted so much food and so much money in the beginning. Um, But I don't know. If I had to rate it, I don't like it, y'all. <laughs> I don't know. Like, if I had to rate it, I'd probably give it like a 7, a 7 out of 10. There's just something weird. Like, there's a weird taste. Like, a taste, maybe one of the seasons... <laughs> There's one of the seasons if I knew what it was, I wouldn't use it again. I don't know, something is weird. But what I am gonna do is um my go-to, I'm about to throw some barbecue sauce on this thing. Um, on probably all the chicken, just a little hint of it. Barbecue sauce is my my what they call it? <laughs> my hero when it comes to like bad chicken or chicken that I don't like. I always, always, always just go ahead and put some barbecue sauce on it. Uh, you can't go wrong with that. So I'm about to do a little bit. Of, let me let me do it with y'all. Yeah, something is weird. This is what we got. So I'm gonna put some of this on it. I don't know what's weird. Something is weird, bruh. Let's see if it tastes better. I mean, I feel like it's going to because I'm just gonna make everything taste better. It's still a weird taste. Something is weird about this meat. I don't know. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm gonna finish it and I'll see y'all later. Yeah, so I'm out here walking London. I'm um, thinking about the meal because I mean, I just ate it so I can kind of still taste it. And I'm thinking to myself, like, what if something's wrong with the meat? But I would have been, I would have been able to notice like before, right? What something is wrong with the meat? <laughs> I might not eat it. <laughs> the good thing is my mama is cooking later on, so if anything, I'm just gonna eat her meat. And um, I don't know, I might not eat mine. I don't know, yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just a really weird, weird, weird taste. You know? So, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna eat it. That's why I'm happy I didn't get a lot. As I was telling you, with just, just trying recipes in general, I'm trying to get in the habit of just making a little bit. Because in the past, I would make a lot and then potentially not like the recipe and then have to throw the whole thing away. So, I'm glad I don't have much to throw away this time. But, um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna eat it. So... There's that, unfortunately. All right, you guys. So, I just got inside. Uh, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure you subscribe. Please make sure you tell your friends and family <laughs> about me. Um, and tell them to join the family. I love you guys. There's more to come. I'll see you on the next one.